Uh, I, I appreciate that, uh, that you own some songs and some rights. Let's say I want to uh, put up a video of my cat and put some music behind it. How easy is it for me to get a license to put your music or somebody else's music under my cat video? I mean, how many hoops is there to jump through on that? You know, anybody who wants to use my music for, <clears throat> for something, all they have to do is ask me for permission. And that's up to me to give you permission. You know, the, the okay, thing... Okay, so I, have to, I then have to go Google your name, find out who you are, then I have to go Google the performer, find out who they are. I mean, this is a very complicated process. Not really. Why don't you just go to mariaschneider.com, my Artist Share website. You can contact me there. I, I guess the point I'm trying to make is that... We, we saw a dramatic drop in, uh, we, we basically saw Napster and some of these peer-to-peer -peer really drop when uh, legitimate music became much more viably available. Isn't there an opportunity for your industry and some of your artist groups to come up with a, a way to make it easier for innovators or somebody who wants to create uh, derivative works to, uh, to license your content and do it legally? That's for legalese for, to figure out how to do it, but I'm telling you that if my music is used in many different ways without my permission, that's violating my copyright. I, I, and and, and I, I appreciate that, and I, I want to I respect your copyright, but you know, I might also want some music on my cat video. Uh, let me go to... Uh, 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 Public domain. Mrs. Uh, Amaya, Amaya, I'm sorry if I got your name wrong. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, concerned that you know, search engine, not Google in particular, but any search engine, is an enabler for, uh, for copyright infringement. And I, I'm wondering if your industry might be better served to take a, a, a lesson from the uh, MPAA, you know, the content creators. You know, when Congress was threatening to go in and regulate movie content, they created the rating system uh, voluntarily. And you know, it, it, it isn't as good corporate citizens uh, something that maybe your industry should uh, work together on and finding a way, especially on this whack-a-mole. It seems like I can, I can get Shazam in a noisy room and identify a song. Uh, it, it seems like large companies like you guys and Bing and you know, the, the, the big companies ought to have the technology to do something uh, uh, more about that and maybe not be required to, but do it on a voluntary basis. I think there's a lot of... Um ways that we're always working to address this. The, one of the biggest things that we've done for search is use automation to improve this process so that rights holders can as easily as possible let us know. So we have very simple to use web-based um, complaint forms across all of our products. For search, we're actually processing um, its public information on the transparency page. More than 20 million notices per month, so that's every 30 days. The right, takedown so, and, times and, and have just, dropped I'm just to curious, six hours on the other side of that, uh, of that 20 million takedown notices you get, how many do you get a counter notice on? Small. It's, um, we, we say on the transparency report that we process about 99%. So the remaining 1% were either rejected because they were erroneous or because right. there was a counter notice. I, one more thing just on the search. Sure. We absolutely agree with you on wanting to direct users to legitimate content. And so if you look for something like Frozen, you may also see at the top um, a very new feature that we've added, which would be some advertising services to direct people in one click to be able to go purchase it. Um, there's also the knowledge panels on the right, which is authorized content. I just wanted to be clear, we do not want infringing links in search, and as much as possible, we're always trying to direct them to YouTube or Play and platforms that make money for everybody involved. And, um, you know, I, I think we've got to be careful as we draft regulations on this. Expecting something of a large company like Google is very different from expecting something from a small uh, independent website owner or, uh, or even smaller ISP. Uh, you know, on your YouTube platform, you all have the technology and expertise to do this uh, screening, but if I've got a bulletin board up and somebody uploads a copyrighted photo, uh, I don't think I would have the resources to go check to see how... Uh, whether or not that was copyrighted uh, or not, I, you know, I, I could easily deal with a takedown notice. So again, I, I encourage industry to cooperate with, uh, with the artist to find a way to end that. And I, I'm out of time. I had plenty more questions, but uh, in, the, in, in respect for the five-minute rule, I will yield back.